A very good evening to you. Welcome to tonight's session of the Smart Cut Live. Thank you so much for streaming in and joining us from wherever you may be finding yourself. I hope that tonight's session is going to answer all those questions you have regarding the Smart Cut. It's been an overwhelming couple of months as we try to combat the spread of COVID-19 in our beautiful motherland as well as worldwide. I therefore encourage you, wherever you may be finding yourself, that you maintain social distancing as well as practice that, wear your masks, sanitize as well as wash your hands. My name is Helvi Hishekwa and I will be your host for the duration of this session. Today's topic is going to focus on voluntary male circumcision. However, before I get deeper into that, I have a special guest who is going to take things on quite a lighter note. A comedian to be exact, one of my favorite. I have Mitch the Comedian. You might have seen him at Free Your Mind. Today he's coming in with a little bit of the twist. He said that he is going to be called Koro Fiali Korasem. Let's see what this is about. Mitch, welcome. Mm. So uh, as you can hear, the, our introduction is Fialiku uh, Korasep and a very unique and super fan of Lolo Korasep and has a very important message for Lolo Korasep today and that I'm very disappointed in him and dramatized by the loss we had in Burkina Faso. Lolo, what happened in Burkina Faso? You told us that we killed them in Namibia and we're going to bury them in Burkina Faso. Three goals in 10 seconds. Lolo Korasa, you need to explain this to the country. And we can all agree, because I'm a fan, that, and I'm not going to jeopardize his jubilee, that we can all agree that Lolo Sylvester Korasa was the heart and soul and the headline of Namibian football. But I'm very dramatized by this situation and I need to address it. So, Lolo was the heart and soul and the headline of Namibian football until he lost to Burkina Faso and became a 40-year-old uncircumcised side nigger. And I'm very angry about this and I'm pointing this message directly. If you are watching Lolo, just know that, that your super fan is talking about this and you are going to do this. The least that you can do for the country right now after losing, amen, is for you to take off the floppy in salute to the people that loved and supported you for all this time. And you are not going to even say about you are too old for it. Uh, uh, clean TD, uh, what is the, uh, the age, the highest age for actually getting circumcised? <laughs> no, uh, no, I just want to know the cutoff time. Yeah. You are not going to say you are too old for it and don't even say you don't have money. You will not be able to Zula for a circumcision. It is completely free. And no doctor is going to charge it. The doctors are just going to share the tips. Lolo, as a very proud friend and a fan of yours, and a unique and disturbed fan, I don't want my temperature to rise about this situation. So please, as I believe, you already made us lose against Burkina Faso. Please, not get us lost against HIV and AIDS. Thank you. The government of Namibia, with support from PEPFAR, in 2014 launched the Voluntary Smart Cut campaign. Medical, medical male circumcision is fully recommended and approved by the World Health Organization mainly to combat HIV and AIDS worldwide. Research has found throughout the years that men who go through with the procedure have a 60% reduced rate of contracting HIV, STI, penile cancer as well as uh, cervical cancer in women. 
I'm joined by two gentlemen today who are going to come forward and enlighten us about the topic at hand tonight. It's my absolute honor to welcome the ambassador for the Smart Cut campaign, King TD. Welcome and thank it's you for joining me. It's already circumcised. It's already circumcised. It's great. You. I should have added that to my memo. <laughs> <laughs> as well as my special guest, Mr. Lolo Gorasab. Welcome and thank you for joining me. Pleasure to be here. It's lovely to have you here, mm -hmm. both of you. King TD, you have been on the Smart Cut campaign for mm -hmm. a while now. Why would you say that the VMMC or Smart Cut is a great strategy for Namibia? You see, when you introduce us, you've mentioned all the points. Uh, maybe I can just go in. Uh, when you circumcise, uh, the chances of you getting HIV is reduced by 60%. You know, um, the chances of you getting uh, penile cancer, the penile cancer is the one that uh, on the on the manhood, on the penis. Yeah, the chances of you getting that uh, penile cancer is reduced, but I mean not reduced, but is the chances of you getting it is very, very, very low. And uh, just for you to be clean, you know, just amongst your friends, you know, you just have to be have to be clean, you know, because uh, when you're not circumcised, uh, those white things that are always uh, in uh, the main, uh, the main uh, foreskin, mm -hmm. they smell. I was one of them, and woo, they stink. Mm. They stink, they stink. You know, when you're just among you and just move like just a little bit like this, everybody will be like, hey. They'll start even calling you names just because of that, you know. So sometimes they just need to be clean. Yeah. No? Yeah. Let's do a little comparison. From when you started to now, mm -hmm. would you say that more men have come out to go yes, forward yes. with the procedure? Yes, yes, service? yes, they've done. I've seen, you know, I've, 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 I've been around the whole country. Right. Uh, we've managed to circumcise about. Uh, 150, 200 people, or 200,000 people, and we're still counting, you know, and uh, which means the message is clear and everybody uh, is willing to go and uh, uh, they want to be healthy. Ooh, that's so great. what's the use of you studying and uh, you're not taking care of your health, you want to be successful and uh, you're not taking care of your health, you know, so, uh, you see, uh, yeah. All right. Mr. Lolo Garza, you have been quiet for too long. I'm curious to know your thoughts and hear your thoughts. What do you think about male circumcision in general? Yes, uh, the benefits of circumcision, uh, most importantly, is uh, it reduces the risk of infections to sexually transmitted diseases uh, like HIV and AIDS. So for us, it's very important for males to, to be circumcised. Of course, it's your own choice, but uh, we are promoting and uh, encouraging men to be circumcised, you know, also for their health, because it makes it so much easier to maintain your health, in especially washing your penis mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. keeping clean and uh, to reduce that risk of getting infections through sexually transmitted diseases. Right. King TD, I'm sure you have seen a lot of mixed emotions surrounding getting the smart cut. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the biggest fear for men to going forward and getting the smart cut? Uh, it's a pain, you know. Uh, <laughs> me also, before I just got to size, you know, uh, it was a pain. Um, men, they will talk too much, yeah, me, me, I'm this, me, I'm this, I'm this. But when it comes to pain, they are the ones that are running away. Mm -hmm. This process is painless, you see, you know, it's, it's, it's very painless. Um, and the maximum time that you can only spend uh, in there mm -hmm. is, let me say, 25 to 30 minutes. And when you are, even when you are cut, from there you can still just walk. If, you, if you're a taxi driver, you can drive oh, the taxi, driving, you can, you know, Unless you're doing uh, a lot of, 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 of heavy work, mm -hmm. but at, uh, also at the hospital or when you just, where, where you're casting upside, they will be able to tell you do this and do this just to avoid the pain and all these mm -hmm. things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, are you are you going to be afraid of, of, of just this little pain that is saving you? You're gonna be yeah. afraid of, uh, or you're gonna, you know, right. once you get HIV, that's more painful, is it? That's more painful. Why can't you just do it? Why can't you avoid it now before, yeah? And just go so ahead. Most of the, the guys are afraid of, 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 of the pain, yeah. Of the oh, pain. Wow. But, uh, but those are not when they, they will tell you it's a painless process, just a process just like me. That's good to know. It actually lifts a lot of weight of a lot of people's chest as well. Yeah. Mr. Gora said there are a lot of myths surrounding male circumcision. One of those is that it's best to get it done in winter. What are your thoughts on this and what would you encourage men who are hesitating to go forward with the procedure? I believe it's a misconception and a misunderstanding mm -hmm. because uh, circumcision, whether it's done in winter or summer, uh, it's the same because the wound takes the exact equal amount of time to heal. Mm. So this myth that you are talking about and the people are saying that you must be circumcised in winter 
to the, so that the wind, uh, the wood can uh, uh, can heal faster. Uh, it's uh, wrong. I, I, I can um, yes. justify that of what he's saying. For me, I was cut uh, um, during summertime. That was September. Okay. And you know the process was just still the same. You know, you see. Uh, for me to do that, but just also to test and see if, mm -hmm. yeah. I love that you put it out there. How long did it take for you to heal, approximately? Uh, exactly the same time, which is six weeks. Six you know, weeks. Uh, six weeks for, for, but for me, uh, you see, I like to be safe. You know, after six weeks, I had to stay at least uh, uh, two months <laughs> just for me to see if. Yeah. It's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. It's but, a, but also to add, really it's a long time. You see. <laughs> also to add, you know what's important is after circumcision is to make sure that you at least wash your penis uh, at least twice a day Very to maintain important. the health and also for the wound not to, 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 to get more infected. Mm -hmm. And also, an uh, important part, as King Didi said, is that to refrain from sexual activity for six weeks. During after, that time. After your two whole months, yeah. Yes. Not play with yourself. So those are the critical... Know, not play with yeah. yourself, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> those are very critical uh, information uh -huh. and uh, that you must take care of yourself. And why circumcision is very important is mostly for your health mm -hmm. and also to avoid being infected by these diseases. Like That's HIV. a great way to put it. Thank you so <coughs> much, Mr. Goraseb. King Tidi, should someone wake up tomorrow since we have given them the info and feel, hey, I'm ready to go forward with the smart cut, where can they book and, of course, where are the services available? Um, all the information is on the uh, uh, VMMC page, VMMC Namibia, that's on social media. If you go there, all the information is there. And all the posters that I always post uh, about VMMC on uh, my page, the number is there to call, you know. You can decide yourself um, when you want to come in, you right. know, all that. Uh, and um, the nice thing is that about uh, uh, these people that are on the other side of the, of the line, they are very, very, very helpful. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, they'll be... Mm, that's great to know. But otherwise, if, if, if you don't want to call, you can just go to any uh, state hospital. Mm -hmm. um, they, 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 they can get you circumcised for free. You don't free need to charge course. any 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 anything. Or you can go to a private hospital with the BMMC logo. Then you can. Uh, uh, they can also do the procedure can do, yeah. for yeah. you. Yeah. It's a, it's a simple fast, isn't it? It's very convenient, I yeah. must say. Yeah. Mr. Gorasev, moving forward, how would you support the Smart Cuts campaign? Just by being here, it's a statement that says that I'm really looking forward to join King TV. I forgot, I as, forgot. As an ambassador. I forgot. Can, of, I, can of you ask me a question? Card. I just want to yes. ask you a question. Yes. You know, my introduction was like, I'm already circumcised. You know, I was, I was <laughs> listening to... To to to, uh, to meet when he, he roasted you. Yes. Are you really circumcised or just him talking? No, <laughs> I can confirm. You know, <laughs> we, are, we are online. But I'm circumcised uh -huh. uh, since I was a little boy, and uh, therefore I believe that uh, I'm the perfect uh, one example. Team. Now that's one thing. Like TD, you can throw it in there. To, to be our ambassador, <laughs> and most importantly, to encourage fellow other men mm -hmm. to really consider circumcision. Mm. because of the benefits that we have just mentioned here and also to encourage others around them to be circumcised for, for greater health and uh, longevity. So they shouldn't go out there and spread rumors that are not true. Yes. You are circumcised. You see, I think, I think, I think also ladies, ladies should play part in it. You see, because uh, this is not just an issue for men. Yeah. Um, you know, when you're many circumcised, uh, chances of a lady uh, getting cervical cancer is very very low you know uh, those white things that i said earlier that are in the, in the main foreskin in, in, in case you're involved in a uh, i mean in sexual activity and then the condom bust all those white things imagine now you've got, you've got a boyfriend that is always busy you know he comes home he's tired and then you, you know time to to watch is not there mm -hmm. you're involved in this uh, sexual activity and then stay two weeks without bathing all those white things they, they, they might be deposited and in the long run they can develop into yes. cervical cancer and for him uh, perineal cancer so ladies especially um parents you know please encourage 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 uh, uh, not because just take your sons to get circumcised yeah, so, 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 mm. to be circumcised. i love that you say that uh children between the age of 15 to 17 are they free to go on their own should they be accompanied by a guardian uh, no, they have to, 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 to go with the parents to, to consent, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, to give consent. And uh, from 18 up, uh, as long as you know that you are, whether you are 60 or 80, as long as you know that you are sexually active, uh, you can go and get circumcised. You know, the benefit is not for anybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, they say charity starts at home. So it's, you're doing it first for you and um, for your loved one. Yeah. If you love your, your partner, why, why are you exactly. waiting? Exactly. Especially, uh, uh, sometimes we get, uh, I get, uh, 
on my social media. Yeah, my boyfriend doesn't want to really go get circumcised. All that doesn't want to get circumcised. Doesn't want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why do you want to put another person in danger? You see, mm-hmm. if you love the person, yeah, so do the best thing and get circumcised. That's so great. Yeah. You can walk. You can walk just like us. You know, you can walk just like us. <laughs> it's free. It's free. Mm-hmm. The circumcision is free, and it's a voluntary exercise. So no one is forcing you to do, do that. But they're just encouraging men. To go forward with it and get a smart cut. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me tonight. It was lovely to have you here. Thank Thank you you very much. much. Thank you so much. With that said, remember that male circumcision is, of course, an easy procedure that you can just go ahead and do. And also, it improves personal hygiene. For the women out there with partners, please be the right hand and support your partner with getting a smart cut. Remember that you should man up and get a smart cut. It is easy. Simple and it is safe. Hmm? Okay. Now man, I really need to get this off my birth certificate. Lolo, man up as I'm belief. Man up, you are making my temperature rise. As I'm belief, Lolo. Look at Frankie Fredericks. Circumcise winning. Look at Hitman. Circumcise winning. Now you are coming here with your walkie doggy and your walkman. Looking like a permanent call center agent. No, no, I'm, I'm really very disappointed in you. And those are the type of guys that sit with open legs in the taxis while they know it's smelling. How can you not do it? I cannot can. I cannot can about this situation. And I will not be silenced about this situation. Assembly, no, no, you better man up, assembly, and get to uh, the centers where you're getting circumcised. Hmm.